Hello YouTube fam, it's Cuppa Katie here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and I love sharing decorating videos, clean with me videos, DIY, fashion um, finds, you name it. I love sharing it all. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider cons cons ah, subscribing. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube fam and to give this video a thumbs up if you love decorating videos too. So today I will be taking down my St. Patrick's decor, giving you an overview of everything, packing it all up and bringing out the spring decorations. So make sure you grab your cup of coffee or tea and let's decorate for Easter. I have to show you real quick last night it snowed and today it's still currently snowing so it's hard to think about bringing out my spring decor that has like tulips and flowers and all the spring feels and there's snow so let me know what the weather's like by you I am in Wisconsin and it is about the beginning of March and we got snow Here's the St. Patrick's Day decor that I did for this year, 2022. Um, so starting over here, I have some Ray Dunn uh, mixed in with some Hobby Lobby pieces and my little marshmallow mug. And this right here is an area I always decorate that's in our family room above the TV. So moving on to my favorite area I love to decorate where I put a lot of my main pieces um, is my computer hutch area. So over here I have a lot of Ray Dunn pieces. Again, canisters mixed in with mugs. Um, I do have some Target birdies in there and some Target dollar spot decor that I had found and some things from Hobby Lobby. But I go over into detail about these pieces in my St. Patrick's Day video um, and I'll have that linked for you right here if you had missed it. And this is the last area that I had decorated is my Hobby Lobby shelf with my St. Patrick's decor. So over here is mainly my JP, um, which is Joanna Parker pieces um, that I had mixed in with some of my Ray Dunn. So this is the last area that I decorated. And these three areas that I did show will be the areas I am decorating again for Easter. <laughs> Look how dusty this canister is. All my decor gets really dusty for the month that I have it up. So that's why I love using my Grove Collaborative microfiber cloth along with my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and I have it in the scent peony. It is perfect for some spring cleaning. So again, I have that link in the description box for you to check out Grove Collaborative. If you are free, um, new to them, you get some really good free goodies. So definitely check them out. I'm curious to know how many of my viewers are Ray Dunn collectors and lovers. If you are, sound out below in the comments. So let me tell you a really fun story. So these green measuring cups, if you collect Ray Dunn, you know measuring cups are a unicorn piece. They are so hard to find in stores. So these um, measuring cups I found right after Christmas about three years ago. And um, since they were Christmas, I brought them up to the register and I asked if they were clearanced out at all since it was a Christmas line. And they sold them to me for six dollars. Isn't that crazy? What a score. Let me know what your best find was for a Ray Dunn piece. Throughout this video, I kept looking outside and I just kept shaking my head and couldn't believe that we got snow in March. I wanted snow so bad for Christmas and for my Christmas videos, and we didn't get snow until probably sometime in January. Again, I live in Wisconsin and we always have really crazy weather. So let me know how the weather's been by you.
you decorate for spring or Easter? Let me know in the comments when you decorate. I always try to decorate early just so that you have plenty of time and inspiration for you to see here on my YouTube channel. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed. I decorate for everything. So you don't want to miss any of those future decorating videos. Had we met before and seen chemistry Was so glad you came Had we met before Laugh innocently But it didn't feel It didn't feel like thunder or lightning But something struck me When I was looking into your eyes Was in love at first sight of fire that I picked out for this video so sit back relax and enjoy some fun facts about Easter I'm not crossing that day it would be a shame so listen baby listen carefully cause I got something to say
it's not too late to be heard. So tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. And stop the train.
hop right into spring. Oh my goodness, I love how this area turned out. Every year I try to change up the area and how I do decorate. You know, a lot of these decorations are from years past, but some of the decorations are still available in stores. And I'll go over everything that I have found in this area. So starting over here is a Ray Dunn Easter basket. And every year they have been coming them out, coming out with them and they are different colors that are out there that are available. This little bunny right here is from Hobby Lobby. And the bunny inside it is from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, he, um, he's holding a Easter egg and I just thought it turned out so cute so this little um, Easter Bunny is not right done but it is found um, at TJ Maxx and Marshall stores as well and then the egg garland that I was trying to put on my Hobby Lobby shelf um, worked out over here and I have it tied into my um, Target dollar spot um, little bunny like I don't know it's not really a tiered tray but just like a little stand that I found this year super cute for five dollars I just love how it looks over here and then I tied a little bow on one of the bunny ears and then the hip hop is Ray Dunn a mini canister and then this little egg is found at TJ Maxx and it lights up moving over here are the very hard to find Ray Dunn measuring cups these are in a pale pink with black speckles and they turned out so cute I love it I'm not a huge fan of the speckled line that they came out but these measuring cups are a very pretty pale pink and I think it looks adorable in that little um, house that was found at Target and then moving on over here are these bunnies. I found them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshall stores. Um, a mix of finding them last year, and then this year I had found the little teapot, and I thought it was so cute to tie into this area. The little tier um, tier tray stand is from Target's Dollar Spot, and these two little signs are from Hobby Lobby. And moving down here is an iridescent Ray Dunn jelly beans mug. I don't like having the same words in an area because over here I have a jelly beans birdhouse. But I feel like since they are far enough apart and two different things that it does work. But if you think it's a little weird and maybe I should switch one of them out, let me know in the comments below. But the iridescent lines last year was all the craze. So these were two mugs that came out last year. And then these little bunnies are Target little like vintage bunnies and they are found in the Easter um, like decorations area not in the dollar spot area and I'd switched out their ribbons to a pink and white like buffalo check so I think it looks so cute to tie into this area the ribbon was found at Hobby Lobby and I love tying it onto certain pieces and then this bunny is actually um, you can flip it two ways so it either has the black and white buffalo check or the pink buffalo check and that is found at Hobby Lobby this one, I believe, doesn't flip around. No, that's just from Hobby Lobby. And they have those bunnies every year. Ooh. Come on, camera. There we go. And then over here, I have two Ray Dunn birdhouses, the pink jelly beans one and a pink nest. And then the Easter love bunny is iridescent as well. And then this little white bunny um, is from Target's Dollar Spot and I had tied on a ribbon um, like the other bunnies. And that is all the decorations in my little computer hutch area. So above my TV, I have a mix of the white um, classic Ray Dunn pieces mixed in with the carrots and some buffalo check pieces. So starting over here, I have a little um, white truck. It is from Hobby Lobby and then inside it are some carrots that I found from Hobby Lobby as well as the um, buffalo check egg. So the buffalo check egg came with three different um, kind of styles and those were found from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of mixed them in within my decor. So the Cottontail Cutie originally had a pink topper but I had these bunny um, cottontail um, mug topper and I thought it looked perfect for this canister so I had switched out the pink one and put it on a different canister and then put that bunny tail one on there. Super cute. And the bunny treats originally had one of those ginormous bunny heads on it. I do not like those huge bunny heads. So I took that off and then put in some buffalo check carrots that I found at Hobby Lobby as well as the carrot garland Hobby Lobby as well. Moving on over is a Ray Dunn birdhouse. It's got a, bu a bunny like little saying on there and originally it had a pink ribbon but I took it off and put a buffalo check one on here to tie it into this area. 
And then the little um, Buffalo Check Bunny here uh, matches like the pink one that I have. And again, that is from Hobby Lobby. Moving back is my adorable cotton tail confectionery hand, handmade daily sign that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I believe they have it again this year. Super cute. I just love how it ties in this whole area. And then right here is a little like tea light um, candle holder. I got that from the Dollar Tree. I just love tying it in with the decor. And right here is more Ray Dunn, um, a Hop To It mug, which is a few years old, but I love tying it into this area with the Easter candy canister and the Crunch um, mug. So these mugs um, kind of taper in, so they are different, and I really like the style. And then I had threw in some carrots inside the carrot um, mug on top of a um, like little stand, and that was found in the Target Bullseye Playground area. The little um, tie-on garland piece um, with the little scoop is off of Etsy. I will try to link it in the description box for you if you think it's adorable and want one too. And then I love tying in my little marshmallow guy on his little um, bench-like stand. That is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I've seen it there before. However, I did find mine off of Mercari. And with Ray Dunn pieces, a lot of these pieces you might not find in stores. Um, the TJ Maxx Marshall Home Goods does cycle in and out of their Ray Dunn decorations. And, you know, some pieces might be available one year and then they might not be available the next year. But a good place to find them is Facebook Marketplaces. Um, possibly maybe Craigslist or even Mercari and there's another site called Depop and then you would just type in the description of what pieces you're looking for and someone's always um, typically selling the pieces. So um, finishing up over here um, is again my marshmallow mug. Um, I got him off of Mercari as well as the hat is off of Etsy and it came with a little um, carrot and then I put the um, buffalo check egg over here with this little sign that is from Hobby Lobby. And my last area I decorated is my Hobby Lobby little shelf. I love the shelf. It is so cute and fun to decorate. And this is in my kitchen right next to my kitchen sink. So starting over here is a pink jelly beans canister. It is a mini one and I was super excited to find that my first year when I was collecting right down. That was a huge score to find. And then over here is Love Some Bunny, and um, next to that is a Happy Easter um, little, it's not a canister, but it just has a bunny peeking out of it, and I think it's so cute. And then moving over here is three more canisters, Egg Hunt, Hop Into Spring, and Honey Bunny. So this one originally just had a white lid, and this is the pink lid that I took off of the canister that I showed you with the bunny tail um, sticking out, the little bunny butt, I should say. And then I had just tied on some ribbon. So the ribbon is actually Ray Dunn ribbon that came with some other pieces, and I just held on to it and tied it onto certain pieces just to kind of have it all match. And then moving down here, these are new this year. These are like little jelly and jam containers and one says Happy Spring and the other one says Bunny Love. I love these little pictures of the bunnies on there. I think it's so, so cute. And then moving over here, I believe this is a Strawberry Fields or Strawberry Lane um, little bunny. Um, it, I don't know, It. I think it could be like a napkin holder. I'm not too sure what it is, but I just thought it was so, so cute. There is a boy one as well, but I just wanted the girl with the little pink bow. And then I put in some of the eggs, and these are the eggs that I was talking about that came in a three pack, or not, not three pack, but three different styles from Hobby Lobby. So it came with these speckled ones the um, burlap ones, and then the buffalo check ones from Hobby Lobby. And then moving on over here is more Ray Dunn. This is like a sugar and creamer, um, little tiny like canister, um, and um, I don't know, it's got like a little, little you know spout on it, but one says hip hop, and the other one says hop, um, hop to it. And I put the little burlap egg next to it, and I just think they look so cute in this area. Tell me what you think. And that'll do it for my Easter Decorate With Me video for 2022. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite pieces, what are you most excited for this Easter, and if there's anything that you were looking for that you just can't seem to find, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll let you know where I got it from. So if you're decorating for Easter or if you know anybody who is decorating for Easter, please send, me, um, send my video to them. I'd love to be their inspiration this year. I have a New Year's resolution of reaching 1,000 subscribers, and I'm so close, so help me get there make sure you're subscribed and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you love videos like this as well and um thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate you taking the time and spending it with me and i will definitely catch you in another video bye
sound.